In this talk, um, I'm going to deliver just a, a short, basic introduction about the chances and challenges of using Wikipedia and their sister projects in secondary and non-formal education. And afterwards, I'll give a, an overview of best practices or interesting projects, uh, in my opinion, that are being developed right now. And, and I'll, I'll wrap up with uh, a few takeaways and, and key ideas from, from my own. So, uh, well, currently, um, education, uh, secondary education especially, is considered the foundation of the future society. And it's also uh, one of the main focus of many discussions, especially at a political level. But uh, when we think about the mission of secondary education and non-formal education, it seems that it pretty connects with uh, Wikipedia's mission. And the, both projects, uh, I mean, uh, Wikipedia in secondary education, it reveals both as something uh, filled with challenges and chances. Uh, it's like a coin that, that's got two sides. So. Um, regarding chances, uh, I'd like to see Wikipedia and the sister projects as a highly nutritive food that it's filled with many good things for, for body. So it, it's, it's something that's got a priceless pedagogical value uh, because at least in, in my experience, uh, secondary education is moving towards uh, competency-based learning. So kids, they don't memorize or they try to make kids not to memorize so much but to gain the abilities to gain the skills to be able to do things and, and become aware and be able to solve problems instead of just uh, memorizing and forgetting over and over again. So, and also uh, I think that uh, Wikipedia connects good, uh, pretty well with this methodology because uh, competi uh, competency-based learning in insists on collaborative working and it also uh, helps us to make kids deal properly with, with information sources and develop critical thinking. So we make kids, students actually read, process, and try to understand what they are reading so they're not memorizing anymore. And if we use Wikipedia in this kind of environments, uh, uh, it opens the door to uh, talk about open knowledge and all the environment that unfolds when we talk about open knowledge. And well, mm, Another chance regarding using Wikipedia in, in secondary education is that it's not that new anymore. I mean, m most students know about Wikipedia. Some have even edited it. Many have even trolled it. And also teachers uh, feel more attracted to Wikipedia. Uh, they have a more interested stance instead of just rejecting it right away. And also, I mean, there was a time that you had to use computers and use the internet at school to be uh, innovative. So now we have computers, we have internet, and we can make one step, go one step beyond and, and keep on being innovative. But well, there are also challenges. I told you that there are challenges, and, and they may be obvious, but it, it's, uh, I mean, not all schools can access to Wikipedia. That, that's real, and, and we have to keep that in mind. Uh, depending on uh, the, the education uh, periods. I mean, uh, there are curriculums that can be pretty tight, especially regarding kids that are in the years immediately prior to enter university. So curricula at, uh, for kids that are between 16 and 18 years old, they can become pretty tight. And sometimes you cannot find uh, good spots to develop Wikipedia projects, Wikipedia related projects with kids at uh, that stage because they are stressed in finishing school and getting gr good grades to go to university. Uh, another challenge is what I, uh, I call the, the editor retention conundrum. That's, that's a cross-wiki uh, challenge. So um, in, in secondary education, when we develop Wikipedia projects, uh, it's difficult to retain users uh, on the same spot. But uh, I'd like to see these projects as a kind of seed, that it will sprout in the future and that we will have young adults that are already competent regarding uh, the usage of Wikipedia and the ability to develop projects there. And finally, another um, important challenge is uh, the relationship in complex communities. There are communities that are really big. There are a lot of people. And in the same way that you are developing a Wikipedia project in a, in a secondary education environment, you have to keep in mind the community. You need to make a, 
an accompanying task. You have to talk a lot with the community and accompany the students so that they have a, a good experience and that they not uh, experience the rejection and that the community doesn't get frustrated because of bad project management. So well, now I'm going to showcase some best practices. I made a selection of, of interesting projects that are being developed in the present and have divided them between uh, one, the ones that have teachers as the, as the main characters, students, and projects that are developed in non-formal education environments. So I'd like to highlight the educational hackathon that took place uh, e by Wikimedia Argentina in November 2015, that it was an ideathon where teachers and uh, educators and technology experts, they designed activities to work over big data, digital sources, and Wikipedia and education settings. There are also uh, training workshops on uh, Wikipedia aimed at secondary school teachers developed by Wikip uh, Wikimedia Serbia. They, they uh, trained over 100 uh, secondary school teachers on Wikipedia usage because it seems that in, in Serbia, teachers need to know how to use wikis, so they developed a training program that they could also uh, make it be recognizable as part of the compulsory training teachers need to undertake regularly. And also I'd like to mention the, the pedagogical project at Naka Gymnasium because of the methodology used there. I mean, uh, the teacher that leader this, he involved other uh, staff from the gymnasium, so she, it wasn't her alone, it was the librarian collaborating with her, and she also involved a, Wikimedia, a Wikipedia ambassador, which happened to be a younger student of the same gymnasium that was training his older peers in the usage of Wikipedia. So they were uh, making a kind of interesting network inside the gymnasium itself. Regarding interesting projects involving students, I'd like to mention the Bangla Awareness Program developed by uh, Wikimedia Bangladesh in autumn 2015. It was an event, a part of their 10th anniversary celebration, and it was a series of events aimed at students to get them acquainted to Wikipedia, to address some misconceptions regarding Wikipedia, and to make kids discover that Wikipedia was available in their mother language, because it seems that in Bangla, kids were more used to deal with English language Wikipedia and they were kind of ignoring Bangla Wikipedia. So they were doing this awareness program. I'd also like to mention WikiArts, which is a project developed by Amical Wikimedia and other project representatives. And it involves design students and design schools that are creating illustrations that are quite difficult to obtain if we don't make them ex novo because they are usually scientific illustration, historical illustration. And uh, I'd like to highlight also the methodology used here, that it's a kind of uh, virtuous loop involving the student, obviously, the teacher that is grading the student assignment regarding, for example, I don't know, a scientific illustration about mushrooms, and also the presence of a specialist that is making an assessment about how the illustration work is going. Finally, I'd like to mention the project, a very recent project by uh, Wikimedia Sweden involving Swedish students and Somali Wikipedia. It seems that in Sweden there's a, a, an important amount of Somali uh, population and there are uh, some Somali students that are newcomers to Sweden and the Swedish uh, scholar system. So they don't know the language and the way they have found to make them discover the Swedish culture and get uh, learning the Swedish languages to edit Somali Wikipedia about Swedish topics. So they have to deal with uh, Swedish uh, sources, read them, process them, understand them, and then write in their mother tongue. So they, they maintain this uh, identity and self-esteem of being Somali despite being in a foreign country. Finally, I'd like to mention some interesting practices in, in North formal education. This means outside schools, in any other scenario but a school. I'd like to mention, obviously, Wikicamps from Wikimedia Armenia. This is a project that's been ongoing since summer to, uh, 2014. And it's a summer camp that combines uh, leisure activities with Wikipedia editing. And while well, kids learn about editing Wikipedia and, and its sister projects, and they collaborate, uh, they collaborate to improve articles in their mother tongue, which is Armenian and also Western Armenian, 
which are trying to raise awareness on the usage of this language too. And I'll also like to mention projects developed in adult schools, both in Greece and also in Catalonia. And uh, I mean, these, these projects are interesting because they involve people that, well, they are adults, that they dropped school, so they have some important lacks uh, on basic skills such as computer literacy. They maybe have uh, reading and writing issues. So uh, they are using Wikipedia to, uh, well, to mm, make them develop these skills. And it seems that it, it has been a, a good tool to raise the self-esteem of these people that uh, obviously they can feel a bit marginated because of their lack of abilities, of basic abilities. And uh, I'll later mm, take back the, the project in, in Greece. Uh, in, in the final of my talk. But now I'd like to mention also the Wikipedia workshops for senior citizens uh, developed by the uh, Wikimedia Czech Republic since 2015, that they are involving seniors. That's, that's a lovely niche of people that increasingly have time to collaborate in projects such as Wikipedia and sister projects, and they are becoming increasingly computer literate. So in a few years, we'll have a lot of senior people that are already computer literate and that they might be willing to collaborate in our projects. So uh, we shouldn't forget about seniors. They are a lovely niche. And we have uh, detected that we have higher retention rates, editor rates among seniors than among students. So mm, we should keep that in mind. And I'm going back to Greece to mention a lovely project. I'm, I, I'm really surprised by this project. It's really interesting. It's called Wikitherapy. It's developed by an individual engagement grant since uh, autumn 2015. And it's a project that, uh, that aims to encourage Wiktionary, Wikisource, and Commons editing to users from a mental health daycare center. So, uh, this project seeks, again, to help them regain self-esteem and feel proud of themselves and their contributions in projects that are open to everyone and that they remain, that their contributions remain so, again, they can escape the marginality that's usually associated with mental disorders. And uh, I'd like to mention again the, the project developed in, adults, in adult schools in Greece because there's been a, an extreme lucky crossroads between these two projects. So there was a project in, the, in an adult school in Greece uh, involving Wiktionary. They, they were developing Wiktionary regarding uh, particular words from a, an area in Greece regarding a dialect and they made a very basic Android app, but it was an Android app that gamified the learning of the, uh, a concrete dialect in Greece. And there was this participant of Wikitherapy from a daycare mental health center in, in another place of Greece who committed himself to develop the Wiktionary entries and help them have a larger Android app to gamify the learning of uh, Greek language. And I think that you'll agree with me that this is a, an awesome success story involving Wikipedia and sister projects in, in secondary and especially non-formal education. So uh, here I'm just leaving you with three. They may be really obvious takeaways, but again, we are at a at user digest sessions. Uh, this is a basic overview of what is going on in the movement. And I'm just uh, wrapping up with, again, with three other thoughts that I'm asking you, please be bold if you want to develop projects involving uh, Wikipedia and sister projects in education. Please be bold. Please document. Please, please, please. We like to have documentation regarding these projects so we can replicate them somewhere else. And well, don't forget that Wikipedia belongs in education. So thank you. I don't know if there are questions. We have time for questions. Oh, 
Okay, hello, I'm, I'm uh, Mina Theophilatou from Greece. Actually, I did the Wikitherapy program. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. It's, uh, Thank I'm, you, I feel so it's proud. Lovely. I had no idea you had this in your speech and I, I, I'm, I'm very touched that you, uh, you liked my project. And uh, what's most important in the project is I've been a teacher using Wikipedia for nine years now in my classes at the adult school in uh, Argostoli, Kefalonia. It's an island on the west coast, right across the Adriatic Sea from here. And uh, I have worked with many different kinds of groups of people. Uh, in the adult school, we have high school dropouts. We have many different minorities, Albanian, Roma. Uh, we have people with learning disorders because there's no other institution on the island to cater for these needs. And uh, we have done amazing things with these students. Uh, and now with the wiki therapy, uh, uh, just a correction, it's the, the Android app, it's the same place, same uh -huh. place, the same uh, town. Okay, and, okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay, no mm -hmm. problem. Uh, I, I wish it was somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, we have a peculiar dialect in uh, Kefalonia and we made the category and we are uh, trying to use uh, New resources like uh, App Inventor is a Creative Commons licensed. Mm -hmm. It's in the same philosophy, and uh, the people really liked it. And we're taking it farther and farther. We're blending Wiki Therapy with the education program. I have my participants from Wiki Therapy working with the adult students. So I think the Wikipedia education program is a wonderful thing, and mm -hmm. it can combine many different kinds of uh, communities. Uh, with uh, a very good result uh, in the yeah. end. Indeed, yeah, it's okay. a lovely project. I, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> was another question? No? So we move on? We move on? So, uh, Hi, I'm, I come from Taiwan, and uh, I'm also wondering, uh, for, for the, gradu for the uh, universities, uh, for the university models, there, there is already a very good, uh, yeah. very good program called uh, uh, Education Dashboard in, mm -hmm. uh, throughout uh, uh, a lot of uh, United States and uh, Canadian uh, fac uh, universities, mm -hmm. and uh, I want. I think it's a good idea to adopt this since the PEG dashboard is coming out. Mm -hmm. However, maybe uh, the the only concern is about the the privacy issue because of the students uh, under, under uh, age. age eighteen mm -hmm. should not have. Uh, maybe they don't know how how detailed uh, of the information they can show on the on their user page. So uh, how do you think about uh, uh, deploying PEG dashboard or education dashboard to secondary education or even lower mm -hmm. uh, uh, age of students? Thank you. Mm, well, I think that it may not be a contradiction. I guess that you're mentioning privacy we can put the, that topic on the table and, and explain kids and, and talk uh, to them about privacy the same way that we can talk to them about open knowledge. So I, I guess that and now that they are absolutely, uh, I mean, digital natives, so they, they've got their phones, their profiles on social media. So I, I guess that's, that's an op we can turn this into an opportunity. And I, I think that it, it could be a, a chance to use it as it's a, it's a useful tool for, uh, tool for teachers. Anyway, mm -hmm. so, so we move on, right? Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, everybody. <laughs>